Tribune, the member from Trinity thank Spadina. You, thank you, Speaker. I can remember in 1977 uh, Tony coming to me and, and saying, I'm going to run for school trustee. And I said, that's great. I had become a teacher, didn't know what a school trustee was, didn't know what school trustees did. And I said, that's great. While young men are still in diapers at age 21, Tony Sillipo, at age 21, the year after, 1978, became a school trustee with the Toronto School Board. Think about that. It's a huge accomplishment. How many young men say, I'm going to be a school trustee, or I want to be a school trustee? They don't have a clue who they are or what they want to be, but Tony, at age 21, became a school trustee a young man from the West End of Toronto in the riding of Dovercourt. He uh, became the chair of the Helicon Committee, the Heritage Language Consultative Committee. And at that time, and he was instrumental in uh, making sure that students in the Toronto Board of Education were learning third languages. And he chaired that committee for a long, long time. And it was represented by 40 different language groups where Black Heritage was part of that program at that time. And each and every one of those community members loved him, I say. It was a genuine love for the work that he had done for many, many years as a strong advocate of third language learning. He recognized then, something very few people recognize, that learning a third language is a good thing. It's part of a cultural capital. It's part of a, a Canadian cultural value that learning a second language or a first language for some and the second language, which is the, uh, the, the bilingual nature of who we are, not first and second, but the bi bilingual nature of who we are, and learning a third language, whatever that is, whether it be Italian, Portuguese, or Chinese, uh, Greek, which were the programs that we used to teach, and many others, was a valuable thing to have that it doesn't take away from who you are, that it builds an extra piece of uh, skill that allows you to, to connect to your grandparents and that allows you economically to connect to the rest of the world. We uh, fought those who used to say uh, that if you learn a second or third language that somehow it's bad for you, that you might not learn English. There were people who used to say that. I couldn't, couldn't believe it. I suspect there's still people who say that now. Tony was a, was a, was a leader in that regard, and, and both he and I were part of a, this expression that, that I've used in this house often, and that is, unilingualism can be cured. Here, here. <laughs> Bravo, monsieur. And Tony used to speak Italian and French, a skill shared by his wife, Anne-Marie, who uh, has been teaching and has taught at the university level, has taught French at the university uh, for a long, long time. And they together shared that value of multilingualism as a Canadian cultural value. It's a beautiful thing. Tony became uh, the uh, chair of the school board, uh, another great achievement. Not something that very many people are able to achieve, but he did that, and it's part of that interest and desire and a view of what it is that he wanted to do. A huge accomplishment for Tony. 1990, Tony and I talked about running uh, for office uh, here in this place. And we thought how great it would be if we got elected. At that time in 1990, New Democrats, uh, uh, we were doing well, but some of us never thought we'd be here. And we thought if we got elected, it would be great, we'll, we'll have a strong opposition and uh, We'll show the Liberals. Well, we formed the government. And some uh, of us were shocked, but imagine the shock of the Liberal Party. <laughs> and imagine the shock of the Conservative Party. They, they were not at all pleased. But it was a beautiful thing uh, for us. And Tony, as others mentioned, was the, uh, was the chair of management board, a huge accomplishment, minister of education, and the Minister of Community and Social Services. And as the Minister of Education, he did something that I strongly shared with him, and that is that we should de-stream 
as much as we possibly can the school system so as to give every child an opportunity to go wherever they want. And his experience and mine were that many working class kids of uh, Italian background, dare I say, uh, Portuguese Canadian background, and black students were often diverted into the technical schools and the commercial schools and that the collegiates are, were for somebody else. And so he helped in 19, when he became a Minister of Education to destream our educational system in grade nine that allowed students choices. Because you don't want to stream a student as soon as he gets into high school. You don't want to do that as much as you possibly can. And by destreaming grade nine, it allowed students an opportunity to get a feel of, po of uh, secondary uh, education and have a sense of what that's like with the ability to possibly choose uh, a different course of life. He did that uh, when he was the Minister of Education. <laughs> Tony was respected by all of us, not just in our party, but by the opposition parties as well. He was a humble person. He was earnest, sincere, something that exuded from the person uh, that he was. Uh, and he was competent, and that's something that I had a great deal of pride in, uh, and so did many of the friends uh, that, that knew him. I'm happy that Martin Silva came here today and Corrado Faina because they knew him well. Uh, I'm glad they were able to come and hear what we have to say. And to the family that I have known for a long, long time, I, uh, I, I share with you the pride. I share with you the accomplishments I share with you the memories and the untimely uh, loss. Our party has been a very, uh, very supportive uh, of, of uh, the family. Our party is proud to have had him uh, as a member. And we share with all of you, to name all of you again, our, our respect and love to Ana Maria Miralia, the wife, Filomena Miralia, the mother-in-law, Adrian Silipo, the son, Cosimo Silipo, the brother, Josie Silipo, the sister, Rosa Silipo, the mother, Silvana Silipo, the sister, and Martin Silva, a friend, and Corrado that I already mentioned. I, my love to all of you.